All right, boys, we start this, though, with the big news out of Clemson. It's been talked about a lot, but Dabo Sweeney finally names Trevor Lawrence the starting quarterback for the Clemson Tigers. He will start instead of Kelly Bryant against Syracuse on Saturday. Greg, do you think this is the right move? Uh, I do, and it's because when you look at Clemson's offense in the first four weeks of the season, they've been a little up and down. It hasn't been very consistent. The quarterback play has been just average, and I like Kelly Bryant. He was a solid quarterback, but... Really, Clemson's goals aren't just to get to the college football playoff anymore, not to win the ACC. Their goal now is to win the national championship. And in order to potentially do that, they have to have a unifying force at quarterback, and that is Trevor Lawrence. If you look at what he's done in a very short period of time, he's gotten a little better each week. And if they're going to beat the likes of Alabama and Ohio State, they got to have an offense that can operate at max capacity. Trevor Lawrence gives them the best chance to do that, so I completely understand why they'd make this decision now. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence steps into the second quarter of a football game and throws four touchdowns. And so moving forward, you're saying to yourself, do we really want to take that momentum away from not just the quarterback but from our entire offense? Uh, Greg, you know as well as I do, anywhere you go, the playbook is about four or five inches uh, wide. Everyone has a ton of plays. And depending upon your personnel and your quarterback, depends on how many plays you can run in that playbook. And a lot of offensive coordinators, wherever you're at, whether it's Alabama with Tua or now Clemson with Trevor Lawrence, you want to have the opportunity to go down the field with the football and believe that in any situation against anybody, your quarterback, when need be, can pass you to victories. And I believe that that's what Clemson's thinking here, just like you mentioned. If we're going to beat the Georgias and the Alabamas and the Ohio States of the world, right. we're going to have to use our entire playbook, and Trevor Lawrence gives them a better chance to do that. And, Joey, too, another thing, when you look at it, it's no longer one of those situations in college football where you can just win with a great defense. Like, we know Clemson's front along the defensive line is elite. But now you look at the offenses that you're going to have to face as the season progresses. You're going to have to score 45, maybe 50 points to beat some of those top-tier opponents that you could face in the college football playoffs. So uh, this is the right decision. You have to do it now. I hate it for Kelly Bryant. But it's the right decision, given the upside that Trevor Lawrence has in this passing game. I Guys, agree with we you. See the you look at, let me just say one last thing, Laura, here, before you move on. When you look at what Alabama did, waiting till being down like 13 points in a championship game before they make their yeah. switch, I think that also plays into the coaching decision here, thinking – we don't want to get in a situation where we're behind in a yeah. championship game or in a playoff and then make our switch. Let's make it now and let this guy lead our team into that situation as opposed to jumping in later.